Hi guys, it's Sam here. A couple of years ago, I posted a video that did extremely well on my YouTube channel. And it was just a simple breakdown of some of the things that I was doing inside of my seven figure agency that was absolutely crushing it. So I've decided to go back to that video style and walk you through some of the techniques, the strategies and the ad creatives that I'm utilizing today that's absolutely crushing it in 2025. So in this video, we're gonna look at some of my ad accounts. We're gonna break down how I structure some of my ad accounts. We're also gonna break down some of the highest performing ad creatives. And then we're going to look at some of the strategies and even the landing pages that I'm utilizing today that are getting exceptional results. And all of these are just some of the strategies taken directly from my local ads accelerator, which is my program for people that run ads for local clients. So if you want to get better results for your clients, you want to grow your agency, you want to make more money, then you can apply via the link down below. Let's get straight on with the video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just start inside one of my ad accounts. And I'm going to walk you through some of the kind of structures that I do with inside of my campaigns. Now, if we go to my campaign structure, you can see here that the campaign that we're running currently, it's currently paused, but this is the one that we've been running is just one campaign and I don't have any other campaigns. I've just got one campaign running. But if we go over here and we click on maximum, you can see that I've got multiple campaigns that I've ran either recently or in the past. Um, and these are what I call kind of like my testing campaigns. So typically the way I will structure my campaigns is to have a campaign specifically for testing and then a campaign specifically for scaling. And that reason that I do that is so that I can contain all of my ad testing in one place. I can test multiple creatives. I can keep repeating that process. And if something's performing really well and I want to scale it and the client's got the budget to scale that, I can then move that into a different campaign with a bigger budget and I can run that experiment and test that without necessarily uh, damaging that original campaign and keeping that structure. So if we go inside and hit this one, you can see it's labeled clearly as testing. You can see in each one of these, I very clearly label the ad set, you know, whether it's my copy variant one, so my primary text one, whether it's in my ad variation one through 10, 12, 15, whatever, whether it's a video, whether it's an image and what variation of my headline that I am using. You can see that I label these really clearly so I can see at any one time how they're doing. If we scroll over here, you can see the performance of these. It's the kind of cost per inquiry. You can see if I just click on this, and I just sort this highest to lowest. You can see that the, some of them up here did really poorly. And, you know, I turned those ones off relatively quickly. And if we scroll down, some of these did a lot, lot better. And what happens is because I keep one ad, and this is just another tip for you guys, is I typically will test one, maybe two ads inside of each of my ad sets. And so, for example, I would split my ad set budget accordingly. So if I've got a £50 per day budget, I might have five ad set as £10 per day. And that the way I can control and actually split test what creatives that I'm testing. So you can see here that if something works, I would duplicate that ad set, change the headline, change the video, change to something else, split test something different. And if you want my full uh, split testing formula, it's all inside of my program, which you can find linked to down below. I will essentially just keep testing and testing and testing until I get ads that perform like this, where we've got 18 pound lead, 17 pound lead, 11 pound lead, 11 pound lead. And you can see over a decent number of conversions as well. And then once something's working, I will then graduate that into a scaling campaign. So you can, you can see here, these are all the ones that I've moved in and I've let those run for a considerable amount time. So you can see the average cost per lead across this campaign is much, much stronger. But if I ever run out of ads or my, you know, my ads start not to perform very well or whatever it is, um, then I can always go back into my previous testing campaign, test more variants, and then move those back into that testing campaign. So now let's move on to some of the ads that I've been testing recently that I've been performing really, really well. My partner owns a gym. And so I've been running her some ads for her gym to try and build up the member base. I decided to try something a little bit different. Now, a lot of the ads you see across Facebook and Instagram, um, they tend to be very, very, very obviously ad. So I wanted to have a local, more organic feel. So instead of designing ads specifically for the, this campaign, what I decided to instead do was I actually went to the Instagram account. And I actually pulled some of the highest converting reels and it's easy to do that. All you need to do is to actually go to the Instagram page. You can go to reels, you can scroll down and you can take a look at some of the reels and how well they've done in terms of views. So you can see, for example, this one's had 3000 views. This one's only had 1000. This one had 5000 and we can see this one had 5000. So what I actually did was I went through the Instagram and I found some of the highest converting reels that I could find and I converted those into actual ad campaign. So we can see if I select all of these, the styles of the sorts of ads that I'm using, that's working really, really well for me now. So you can see this one here. Uh, it just says I've walked past this, but I didn't realize there was a gym there. And it's a little video from the outside of the gym, which I think is really great for local businesses because what that does is that just tends to get eyeballs. People see that and they recognize the location and it tends to improve engagement on that video. And then it's just a compilation of clips from the gym 
afterwards. It's super easy, super easy to make. Anybody can make this kind of ad, but this one is getting leads for £5.48. And the second one that I'm doing, which is this style here, this is actually more of a kind of uh, organic post style video you wouldn't really think of this as an ad but it says here's three cool reasons to lift weights and get strong that um, have nothing to do with how you look and you can see here that it's just um, some clips from the gym and some tips where the user would have to actually click on it pause the video to actually read this fully and we've got three tips here just text again very very easy for somebody to recreate and we've got a couple other videos here which haven't had much impressions so I can show you those as well um, so again very text-based very organic for videos I don't necessarily have like a offer going with this ad it's just a free session again i'm just running through lead forms but we're getting a pretty good conversion pretty good booking rate on these leads i think that's primarily because there's no heavy discount or ad or um, offer associated with these and actually what i'm seeing is if we go back to towards slightly more organic looking and feeling video ads i tend to see that they convert a little bit higher so let's have a look at one that's maybe slightly more of a a traditional style of ad that I've been testing recently, which has been working quite well for me. Now, this is a national life insurance campaign, so it's a little bit different. Again, this is more of a scaling campaign, but you can see the ones that are working well for me here. I'm going to open these up and show you. These are done with AI. So this is uh, done with Creatify. And for these ones, I actually created avatars using Creatify. And you can hear the voice. And all I've done is find clips and crop those clips and pop them over the background of the video. I've made the video transparent. So I put the avatar over the front. And I've got loads of variations like this. Now, these work really well sometimes. They don't always work. But in this instance, they're working really well for me. You can see this has had 3.3 thousand um, engagements and 600 comments. Comments is doing extremely well. But the most important thing is that your script is good, right? If you write a really good video script and then plug that into an, some AI tools, such as Eleven Labs, this one's done with Eleven Labs. So this one doesn't actually have a, an avatar, but this one's doing really, really well. These ones are working extremely, extremely well. And I've been testing different variants of these AI avatars. And this one, again, just a different gender, different age category, and just testing those out and seeing which works well. So for example, if your, your product is targeting more of the older demographic, perhaps you might want to use an older avatar instead of a newer avatar okay so let's now move on to landing pages and funnels that i've been using that have been working really really well for me so i've been utilizing lately a lot of quiz based funnels now if you guys watch my youtube channel recently you'll see that i actually talked about this in that video but i've been utilizing quiz based funnels now what are quiz based funnels well they are actually instead of typically using a typical landing page which is again this is one of the templates from within inside the community instead of using a funnel that looks or landing page that looks like this or using a facebook lead form what instead i will typically do is utilize a quiz funnel and what that does is it takes a lot of the questions that you might ask in a form and it separates those out in a quiz based format so for example this one for roofing you've got avoid a costly problem with your roof could your roof be at risk why not find out with a free so with our free roof health check quiz takes less than six seconds to complete and we'll provide you with a no obligation that allows us what could be wrong with your roof and then we use quizzes um, and this is using growform.io which i'll quickly show you guys here um, growform.io which is essentially gives you a bunch of templates that you can test for quizzes and it integrates directly into Go High Level, which is amazing. So you don't need to use Zapier or anything like that. You just use the webhook directly from Growform. The exact same automation flows, your trigger would just be your Growform webhook. So it's really, really easy and integrates really, really seamlessly. But you can see here, for example, I've got, are you the homeowner? Yes. And then we can ask them questions like age of roof. We can ask them, you know, what issues they've got with their... Uh, current roof we can ask them how whether it was last inspected what type of home they live in and we can even go as far as breaking down these questions so for example rather than having name email and phone number we could say great what's your name how, how can what should we call you ask their name then you say great let's check your location make sure you're close you get their postcode then you check their phone number you get their phone number and the reason this works well isn't necessarily because you're going to get cheaper leads per se what it does is it keeps the user on that landing page and funnel for longer and what that inherently does is it will increase the chances of that lead picking up the phone increase that chances of a lead remembering the company and remembering the offer the products and stuff like this so this works really really well and as you can see um this different products completely but for this, we're testing, again, a lot more organic style of ads. I'm finding this is working really well for me now. So these are literally just clips taken from, a, you know, of the product. And you can see that they work really well in um, actually like showing the product in action, 
talking head videos working really really well and then i've sprinkled in some kind of like more traditional styles of ads and the, what you can do with these and again if you take these from my templates folder which you can get with my free download my free facebook ad guide i tend to test multiple different hooks and variations and what i'm actually doing with these is instead of like just assuming what those those kind of pain points and hooks might be i'm actually utilizing chat gpt and what i'm doing is i'm exporting reviews and i'm using those reviews to create hooks and angles and pain points that i can then use on my ad design so for example you know with these different texts here this is as seen on grand designs but this could say something completely different each one could talk to a different pain point and you can leverage the text on your images to speak to the pain points that the user is having and then just one last video style that i've been testing out which is similar to before this again is a voiceover style video uh, which is done with a really really high quality ai voice which was done using 11 labs and what you can actually do is you can upload voices and you can use them if you don't want to use the ones that are already in there so for example if the owner of the gym wants to use their own voice you can actually upload it to 11 labs and that is 11labs.io if you let's just listen to this voice it sounds pretty much perfect so you can see it's got a really good script and it's also the voiceover is really, really high quality. So it sounds super real. So that's just one other thing that I've been testing recently. I'm going to end the video here. I wanted to do a video like this. Just if you guys enjoy these styles of videos where I just kind of every week break down what's working for me across different types of product, let me know and I'll make sure to drop more of these in the future. Otherwise, if you guys uh, have any questions or comments as to what you want me to do next, please drop that comment below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And again, if you guys want to find out more about my local ads accelerator, I'll leave a link down below where you can schedule a call with us, find out more about how it works, and I'll speak to you guys very, very soon.